Hey guys, what is up? What is going on my friends of YouTube? I am Sergio with Takeover Clock. Guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the Captain 240EX from Deep Cool. And it opens sideways. All right. Here we got a white fan. Wow, I have to show you guys the design of these plates in a minute. This fan, it's interesting. It's got braided cable, four pin for PWM. Wow, the fan blade design is beautiful. I've never seen a fan blade like this. These are static pressure fans. And it has right here the name Game Storm and everything. So guys, that is pretty damn cool. Actually, these are premium fans. They're not the cheap stuff that they sent you when you buy, you know, this type of all-in-one. The fans that they give you, they're always garbage. I always replace them. But this time, it looks like I'm going to keep them. And also the braided cable, guys. Take a look at it. These fans are premium. All right, and here we got another fan, the same thing, because this is a 100, um, this is a 240 millimeter radiator. And well, here we got the brackets. We got the brackets for AMD and Intel. Yeah, for AMD and Intel, all right. And here we also got some other fan extensions. If I can see clear, yep. This is a fan extension cable. And wow, take a look at these guys. One thing that really got my attention here is that it has a cool logo. We got a fan hub and this is a double side tape. That's what it looks like. But wow, guys. This is really cool. I Now I don't regret buying this water cooler all in one. It looks like, well, it looks like this goes to your CPU fan header if you want. It's four pin for PWM, four pin, and it goes to four different fans. But anyways, I guess the double side tape goes like that and then you attach it to whatever, whatever you want to put it. So guys, you know what? Wow. This is so cool. All right, taking a look at the radiator, guys. I am very impressed. Take a look at this beauty. It's already white. Man, this radiator, this deep cool, only one, I think is one of the best out there right now. Hands down, I have to say that. Now I have to test the performance. So I'm gonna do that on another video, not today. The radiator, it's aluminum for what I know so far. And well, here we got the pump. You know, it has a cool looking design. The pump goes up to 2200 RPM. And at the bottom of the pump, well, we got the copper heat sink with the pre-applied thermal paste. I am questioning myself. There's a little knob in here. I'm not sure what it is for. Maybe it's to, uh, refill i don't know i'm not sure also the pump itself is white and this part in here lights up all right the pump is three pin only there it is you can see that it's running a max rpm and it's pulsing let me go ahead and turn off the light Now I have to say guys, the pump is fairly quiet. That is one thing that I was kind of concerned about and they do mention on their, on the box that the pump is a silent operation pump. And right now I am right here with the pump running by itself and it's fairly quiet. Wow, compared to the Corsair pumps, the all-in-one pumps, I use a lot of the H100i all-in-one coolers and man those pumps are loud as hell but this one here is fairly quiet
thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you guys next time stay tuned for more content coming up i love you guys stay awesome